Today on Al's Anime Review is Better Man. This is an old anime. If you have heard of it, then congratulations. You are a Best Buy dog just like me. Better Man follows this ragtag group of people as they fight against this odd force that causes people to go nuts and kill themselves and others, known as Algernon. Unfortunately, we have no clue what this is and never really fight against it throughout most of the series. The villains are, well, hard to explain without revealing plot points. But you know full well you're not fighting Algernon even though the word comes up every five seconds in the series. There are a lot of characters in this show that see almost an even amount of play, from the quiet and downright creepy Sakura to the big-chested optimist and her generic boyfriend. The main characters are definitely Keita, the nerdy boy, and Hinoki, the hot schoolgirl, who, without a doubt, is one of the most attractive women in anime. I wish I knew what it was that made her so cool. Gotta be the hair. But these two share a very love-hate relationship throughout the whole series, not unlike another couple we all know. It's weird how they play on one another, and I have no idea how it works, but well, it does. It's a very real relationship, and the characters themselves are decently detailed as well in their personalities. Unfortunately, nobody else is, so these two stick out like that dirty vagina you saw in health class that at first glance looked like a penis. Hinoki has some very serious issues as far as self-confidence goes. Her self-hatred shows up so often and so random in the show, and often without reason. Mid-battle tensions run high, and then, oh wait, I'm asking about my brother. Then we get to Better Man. He is our other main character in the show and he is an unhuman entity that can transform into different monsters depending on what seed he eats. And don't worry, he is one of the good guys. Uh, kind of. Sort of. Fuck it, I'll get to it later. The show is a character-driven show, but let's be downright honest with ourselves. This show was born in the wake of Eva, and the influence is undeniable. From Keita's robot-loving nerdiness to Hinoki's Shinji-esque self-doubt, it's obvious where the influence came from. Hell, the ending of the show should be very familiar to anybody that has seen the Ava movie. Perhaps this is one of those shows where it's already been done and better applies. But even that isn't really true, because the show is so hard to define because it combines so many different anime types, including giant robot, romance, some very real horror types, ancient mystical stuff, and huge monster fighting. So somewhere in there is Ava, DBZ, take your fucking pick how many horror movies, Ninja Scroll, and Godzilla. Almost nothing in it is honestly original. The horror is too obviously ripped off, the head trips are from an obvious influence, and the way that Better Man suddenly gains that extra amount of power to beat the bad guy without training comes off a lot like finding another level of Super Saiyan. It is deep, but the depth doesn't really lead anywhere beyond the show, sort of like standing in a very deep hole in the middle of a kiddie pool. You expect there to be some kind of reveal that makes you think about your life in some way. I mean, come on, all this weird shit, mind raping and depth must lead to something besides just... being weird? But no. It's a plot twist, or rather an O. Henry moment, and not a life-altering truth about the universe. It's more like a bunch of very random character revelations that are a little out of left field. You also think it would try not to be obvious about its ripping off, too. But no. They've flown it so hard that there are a few moments that are almost fourth wall breaking. Is this supposed to be funny? I don't get it. Also, most of the humor is good, but it's also perverse, as in most harem- Oh, dear sweet Christ. And if you actually start to dislike the show for being so cheap and refusing to show any relevance to its randomness, then it just gets pissed at you. What, you don't like us taking all these good aspects from other shows you love? Why not? You should fucking love me. I am awesome. Now watch as I continue to wave my pretentiousness at you and jerk off in your face. This is okay, though. This show stayed incredibly character-driven. Better Man is a new kind of anti-hero that hasn't really been copied since. He seems to be working for some greater universal good in a way we can't understand. He's a lot like Silver Surfer, and you know what? That's pretty awesome. The main problem with the show is that the theme just changes so often. It tries to combine so many different things into one anime that there's too much to talk about. It pulls all this stuff off, but the obvious fact will always remain, it's too much. Especially when these guys take four episodes to fight everything in its mother in one night. If you watch one or two episodes, then it comes off as very cool and creepy. But when watched in its entirety, it reveals all of its flaws. The voice acting is decent for the time. The sound quality is a little bad because this was before anime was popular. I do feel like the English Hinoki is much better than the Japanese. She sounds like she is whining, while in the English she seems actually angry and distant. The music is such standard fare, it really is invisible. The show is good, but it just isn't fantastic. It's geared too much for a certain audience, and that audience is supposedly fans of the show already. Yes, that is how big this show's ego is. It already expects there to be a fan base before it even exists. It was missing certain things that would have made it great. I'm not gonna lie. Combining every B-movie horror and science fiction plot into a huge, giant robot and monster fighting anime with a bunch of mind-tripping thrown in, for good measure, has potential. But 
it just became a huge clusterfuck. But for being weird with little to no point, Better Man gets a three giant human bladders out of five.